Hello, my name is Jeff, and this is my wife, Valerie, and we are on Sailing Twin Day. It is a 2016 Leopard 40 Catamaran owner's version. We bought Twin Day, which is Swahili for Let's Go, in February of 2022 in the U.S. Virgin Islands. We sailed her up to Florida for some upgrades and outfitting and maintenance, and then have sailed her down through the Bahamas and the Caribbean chain to Grenada where we are now for about 4,000 miles of sailing. We have seen beautiful places and incredible beaches and snorkeled some of the most amazing reefs. We have met sailors from all over the world that are now our great friends. And now it is time for our next adventure. So we hope that you will enjoy your tour of Sunday. This is our aft cockpit. Uh, it seats six to eight comfortably, um, up to 11 possibly, all together. Underneath this uh, city right here is the batteries. There's 1,200 amp hours of batteries underneath there, along with um, some storage. Over here, we have our propane locker. There's the bulk comes with two uh, in here, plus a third, a spare propane tank. Underneath here is all of our safety gear. Well, Tiller flares, and then underneath this right here is uh, what I just consider my garage. It has all the gallons and quarts and liquids, and oils, and all kinds of stuff I just got to store underneath there. And as you can see, it's, it's actually quite space spacious. And we really enjoy our dinners up here. On the back side of our cockpit, we have our DD data system. Uh, so we have an electric uh, switch driving a worn winch, and we have a two to one purchase on letting the entire data system down. Uh, we have a 10 foot dinghy with a 15 horsepower Yamaha motor. On the port side, we have a Yamaha 3 YM30 29 horsepower engine with Raycor oil filters. Both sides have brand new batteries. Both are protected with B2Bs. On the aft, port side of the boat, we have this custom fillet table, um, magma, and a wash down, a freshwater wash down for the entire boat. Our solar array has five LG 435 watt bifacial panels, making up a total of 2,175 watts of solar. And on the starboard side, we have the Yanbar 3 YM30 diesel engine. In the side, you'll see that there's also uh, the Raycor filters, not only for this engine, but also for the generator. We're here at the helm, where we are sporting a Raymarine suite of electronics. Over here, we have our wind direction, our Axiom 12 Plus, and our autopilot. Um, along with the rest of the standard equipment and controls with it, along with a Umar 45 self-tailing manual winch and a electric winch. As you can see, all of the lines come back to these set of clutches, literally allowing you to single hand this boat. So we're gonna walk to the bow of the boat. As you can see up front, there's plenty of space uh, for lounging and uh, taking in the views. Uh, we actually just redid the trampoline and all Dyneema, so it's nice and quiet. Underneath the dolphin seats, you can see the 460,000 candle watt spotlights. Uh, you'll notice that we also have a new bow spread supporting a new code D. Uh, the code D is max sales, while the rest of the sales are uh, old sales. Right underneath here is quite a bit of storage. We also have our generator, 6K Northern Lights, along with our water makers inside of here, spare jerry cans and fenders and uh, a lot of storage. Under the bow, we have our anchor locker where we are supporting uh, a Rockna 25 anchor with um, 
250 feet of 3 8 chain, all uh, electric, windless. And there's storage here as well. Uh, that's quite a large compartment right here. I keep a lot of just spare gear up here. And right here is also where our water tank is at, along with all of our fenders. Our spare anchor is a Delta um, buried in there. Another 250 feet of line in there with a 50 feet of chain. Welcome to our salon and galley. Our spice rack with all the spices you could possibly need. Four drawers here. Boat comes with silverware, serving utensils, hot pads. Uh, below the oven is a, a drawer that has all the pots and pans, which are also included with the boat. A uh, two year old propane oven and a three burner stove, propane, uh, standard kitchen appliances. This is a drying rack for dishes, which also gives you extra counter space, which is great. This drawer pulls out, which is garbage for easy access. You have a one bend sink and an extendable faucet. All of our dishes are in here, which also come with the boat. This storage actually extends um, over to here and all the way back, so it's pretty Pretty decent sized storage space. Our water maker controls are in here which Jeff will go over in a bit and one of our favorite features of the boat is the front door um, allows as you can tell so much uh, ventilation of the salon it's just our absolute favorite feature of these Leopard 40 boats. Uh, this is our nav station which is a desk and storage area. Uh, this is a portable Alpi Cool. It can be either refrigerator or freezer, um, 50 liters. So in this compartment next to the front door is the water maker control. So in here on the controls you have your boost pump, your main pump, and um, this is your pressure valve. Uh, it makes about 17 gallons per hour. Uh, runs about uh, 600 watts DC unit, so it's a single membrane unit. Also in this compartment, we have our um, five gallons per minute or 40 PSI uh, water pressure pump along with some safety gear, a fire extinguisher, and a fire pump. So we have extra storage over here. Jeff installed a plexiglass shelf, which is awesome to be able to just store some extra things. Uh, we have a sat phone and a wave Wi-Fi router up there, which we have replaced with the Starlink, which has just been a great addition to the boat. Um, we have storage underneath the benches, um, like three cans deep and the entire area under these benches. So like three and a half, four feet long, just pretty massive amount of storage. Um, portable ottomans, two of them that can be moved anywhere around the boat and, um, and the inside of them is, you know, storage also. Uh, this can be lowered all the way down. We have a cushion for it, so it can be extra lounge space or extra uh, sleeping quarters if needed for extra guests. Again, um, storage under this bench also. Um, another great feature for the ventilation is this door opens all the way. Or we can shut it. And then the curtains extend all the way across for additional privacy. Um, there's plenty of place for books over there. Um, this is an isotherm fridge and freezer. Um, it's about a year old. It's a great addition to the boat over the traditional drawers that um, are standard with this boat. Um, we have a 32-inch uh, smart TV that is on a pull-out stand so you can move it to anywhere you would like to view it in the salon or galley. Um, got extra storage again, another plexiglass shelf over here for extra storage. Um, this is our pantry and that space extends all the way over to here. So it's quite a bit of space to keep things accessible and stored there. We're at the electronics control panel. At the top we have a, our VHF which is a standard horizon. Uh, GX2200. Uh, below that you have the controls for the Northern Lights Generator uh, 6K. The rest of the panel is this boat is a 12 volt 110 unit and below that we have our 
Victron Energy Sebro uh, 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 shows all of the power coming in and where it's going out. For example, shore power, gener power generator power would be right here. Um, this is our AC load right now on the boat and our DC load on the boat, our battery condition, and how much solar is coming in. And so it's very easy to read uh, what's going on on the boat. Right next to that is two emergency shutoffs to the batteries and to the inverters. We run two 3,000 watt inverters in parallel on this boat. Uh, the v, uh, JVC radio is CD Bluetooth capable. Below that, the Aircon units. The port side is a Dometic original to the boat, uh, 16,000 BTUs. Uh, the one on the starboard side is a Marlboro 17,000 BTU Aircon. Both very, very cold air coming out of them, so that's very nice. Uh, below that, we have two remotes that go to the spotlights that are on the front of the boat. 46, 460,000 candle watt power each. That uh, goes out about three quarters of a mile. Very nice. To the right of that, we have two handheld VHF, uh, one Cobra, one standard um, Horizon. And then we also have some walkie talkies as well. All right, so we're down in the starboard hole, which is the owner's side of the boat. Um, this is a desk space that has two areas that open up. Um, and the ottomans that you saw upstairs can fit down on here for a workspace. Um, three drawer dresser goes all the way back, so pretty decent amount of storage. Uh, the Jeff uh, installed extra shelf here, which has been a great space to store extra food. The, the bins come with the boat. And down here we have a bilge area that's been great storage. We have two huge totes down there that fit. Uh, this is our closet, um, space down there. Uh, one of the great features of the owner's version is that we can completely close off our side of the boat for privacy. So this door closes all the way and we have complete privacy over here. We have guests. Open that back up. The drawers that are traditionally part of this boat, the previous owner transferred into a complete like gar garage storage space under this bed. So there is storage probably about halfway back of this just complete whole area is the storage area. Uh, we brought our sleep number bed onto the boat so you probably won't find another queen size sleep number bed on a boat. <laughs> But this one comes with the boat. Um, you have two bookshelves all the way, the whole length of the queen bed. Uh, so that's a great storage. Obviously we're using it with a lot of books, but you could put anything there. Um, a hatch with a shade above and then a full window on the side. And then there's also a fan inside the corner here. All the fans on the boat are brand new. starboard hole owner's side of the boat. We have another uh, locker here. This one has three shelves in it, so we use it as a tool compartment. Lots of storage in there, as you can see, it goes all the way back. Uh, this is our head, uh, complete with uh, electric flush and macerating toilet. Um, have extra storage behind the mirror here. There's a couple little cabinets here, one for trash. Um, a nice shower that you can actually walk into and be separated from, so that's a nice, nice feature of this boat. And one of my favorites, the washing machine. So it's actually a pretty decent size uh, washing machine. I can fit, you know, a small load of laundry in there, no problem at all. So absolutely love it. This is the port side aft berth, again, pure for privacy. Uh, this is a whole storage locker under here. We have all of our snorkel equipment in there that comes with the boat. Uh, again, there's two drawers for storage under the boat. Uh, this is a double foam mattress here. Again, um, the hatch for added ventilation and light. Um, the Every berth has uh, brand new fans in it and all the bedding comes with the boat and all the pillows and all that and then again there is a 
uh, hanging locker, and also two bookcase shelves the whole length of the bed, which is awesome storage. Hi, so we are in the port side hole. There's one head on this side. Uh, again, electric macerating toilet on this side. A uh, little bit of storage behind the mirror, the vanity mirror and a couple cabinets, uh, separate shower, and then again, the hatch to allow ventilation. There is a sliding door here. This is the port forward berth. Obviously has a door for privacy. Double bed in front of that is a V berth. Um, it's fairly small as far as a berth would go. We use it for storage. I think we have like five full-size suitcases up there. So for storage, it's a, a great, great storage area. There is storage under this bed, um, almost the entire length of this bed. So um, we have a ton of storage under this bed. And there are two drawers, same here. So they go probably that far back. And then there is a hanging locker here. Um. 